Okay, this is like my 800th attempt. So this is for the bunny ears. Don't judge me. I'm trying really hard to stay in frame. So I start with a magic ring for the bunny ear. If you do not know how to do a magic ring, that is fine. Do the alternative, which was chain two, and work six single crochets into the second chain. This is just how I do my magic ring. It is not how you have to. And if you are trying to learn how to do a magic ring from what I just did, good luck. Otherwise, <laughs> I would just seriously like YouTube it. It'll, they'll, they'll show you much better than I will. Okay. So six single crochets into our magic ring. One. I gotta try to work not as tight. Two. Cause otherwise you guys are gonna just watch me fight with my yarn the whole time. Three. Four. Oh, this is miserable. Sorry, guys. Five. And last one. I didn't realize how much I move my hands while I'm crocheting. I thought I stayed in one spot until you try to film yourself. All right, pull our string. It's going to close the ring. All right, and then we're gonna work. So this is now, this was our first row, which was the six single crochets. Now we're gonna do a single crochet in each stitch. And I highly, highly recommend you use a stitch marker. You are going to lose your place faster than you've ever done anything else before in your life working in the round. So one single crochet into each one of these six stitches. And I will meet you back at the beginning of this one <laughs> when you're done because you don't want to watch me fight my yarn. Okay. All right, now we're back. If you guys notice um, which way is your right side and your wrong side. So as you're working in the round, you notice this little top part is going to start coming at you like a volcano. So that should be... We're always looking at the right side. We don't want it to start concaving and then we think that we're making like this inverted bowl. It's a other way coming at you. So that way you're looking at the pretty side, not the gnarly side. I would take out our stitch marker. Round three, we're gonna do um, two single crochets into each stitch going to up our stitch count to 12 at the end of this row. So one single crochet and sorry and two. I'll put my stitch marker back into the first <coughs> stitch of the round. All right. I can go back. Oh my goodness, it is a day, you guys. Okay, so we're doing two single crochets into each stitch. I'll meet you back at the end of the round. All right, now it's just a single crochet into each stitch. 
So we have 12 stitches now, and we will also have 12 at the end of this round. One single crochet into each stitch. Don't forget your stitch marker. Look, I'm struggling is because I am. This is so far away from my face to stay on the camera. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> That's fine. This one. Okay. All right, five should be a single crochet and then an increase. So we're going to do a single crochet in the first. If you guys notice that it looks weird when I'm yarning over, it's because when I work in the rounds, I tend to go back to my amigurumi and it is a modified single crochet. And I have a hard time breaking the habit. All it does is um, it makes the final stitch have an X shape instead of a Y shape like normal. It's whatever. All right, so we're gonna increase, which means two single crochets into the next stitch. So, and then I split my ply, it's fine. And then one more single crochet. All right, and a single crochet into the next stitch. Increase the next, so two singles into the same stitch. Right back into the same stitch. You're gonna do this for the rest of the round, and I'll meet you at the end. All right, so that's the end of that. So you should have 18 stitches total now. And you're just gonna do two rows, or rounds, I should say, of a single crochet in each stitch. So, single crochet into each stitch around. And do that for two rows. And then I'll meet you back here when you are done with that. All right, so we're at the end of round seven. So beginning of round eight, we're gonna do two single crochets and then an increase. And we're gonna do that five times. So we're just going to single crochet into the first stitch, single crochet into the second stitch, don't forget to put your stitch marker back into the first crochet of the round, and then we're going to increase, so we're doing two single crochets into the same stitch, go right back into the same stitch. Do another single crochet and then a single crochet into each of the next two stitches and then an increase. So two single crochets.
and do the same stitch. Sorry, this is all right. So continue that around, and I'll meet you at the end. All right, so we finished row eight, and now we're gonna start nine through 12, which is just a single crochet into each stitch. So we should have a total of 24 in the round. So this is the first stitch of row nine, single crochet, one into each stitch. And when I know I have to do a couple rows, so this is number two, I'm gonna just put my um, stitch marker, whoa, sorry, I didn't realize I was off camera. So this is the first one, this is the second one. I just put my stitch marker right in here, just in between that, so I know these double right here. There was two in that one stitch, and then these singles. So I just know that each time I'm on this side of it, that's gonna be around. So do this four rounds. A single crochet into each stitch and I'll meet you back here at the end of row 12. Alright so you just finished up row 12 and we're gonna start 13. So this was right here was our double the end of eight. So one would be finishing up nine, nine, 10, 11, and then this is 12. So we are gonna start our descend going into the decreases. So it says we're gonna do six single crochet and then a decrease. We're gonna do one crochet into each of the next six stitches. That's three, let's put our stitch marker in. All right, and the visible de invisible decrease is you are going to loop just the front loop. So this very, very first, there's that in the frame, the very, very first loop of this next stitch right there. You're only gonna put the first loop on and go right next door to the next stitch and you're gonna put that first loop on just like that. And then try to keep them on your hook, unlike me. Grab your yarn. You're going to go through just those two. Pull it up. And yarn over and pull through two just like a regular single crochet. And then we're going to go to our next one. And we're just going to do six more single crochets. It's two. And three. Visible decrease going into just the first loop of this next stitch. Go directly next door, pull up just that first loop. So we're bringing these two single crochets together. We're going to grab our yarn and pull it through, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through those two. And six more and a decrease. And then we will be done with. Row 13, three, four, split the ply, five, six, okay, and then these last two, we're gonna decrease first loop only of these two. 
pull the yarn through just those two. Get two loops on, yarn over, and pull through. Then you're gonna do two rows now, your 14 and 15, two rounds I should say, of a single crochet in each stitch, and you should now have 21 stitches. So go ahead and meet me back when you've finished 14 and 15, a single crochet into each one. All right, we just finished row 15. So now we're gonna do row 16, or round 16 is three single crochets and then a decrease. So we're gonna start with our three singles. One. Two, three. All right, and then we're gonna do our decrease. So that is gonna be just in the front loop only. Front loop, will that be? the front loop of the next one. I'm gonna put a board. I can just stop going so tight on these. Um, grab your yarn, pull it through just those two. So you have two loops on, yarn over, and then we're gonna pull through both. If you don't split your ply, there you go. All right, and then Another single crochet in each of the next three stitches. And then we're going to do a decrease. One, two, pull our yarn through those two. Yarn over, pull through both loops. And a single crochet in each of the next three. Decrease. Do a decrease. And the last one should just be one single crochet. Should now be down to 17 stitches. You're gonna do a row of one single crochet into each stitch and then I'll meet you back for our last row. All right, so that was the end of 17. So we're gonna do our last row, 18. So you can pull out your stitch marker. We're gonna start with a decrease this time. So going under just again, the first loop only of the first two stitches, pull through and then yarn over and pull through both of those. And then we're gonna do one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. All right, and we're gonna decrease again. One and two, pull your yarn through those two. Yarn over, pull through both. And the next one, we're gonna do a single crochet in each of the next two stitches and a decrease single and 
next two. So now you should have a total, if you count around, of 13 stitches. And the way I fasten off is on the last stitch, I do a slip stitch. You don't have to, you could just pull this one through, but I just do it because it looks a little, it's a little bit tight here. So I just go through the next stitch, and I'll pull the yarn through, and then I just pull the yarn through that original loop. And then I'm going to pull a long tail so that I have enough to sew the ear on. Let's see. Alright, and there you have it. It's all fast enough. And then um, you can just kind of turn it and see which way you like the ear and then you'll see this um it'll look more shaped like that when we uh, actually sew it on so yeah you did it Ta -da!